Learning new software is always a challenge, but once we get the basics down, it's time to really excel with a program. For today's ProSelect Quick Tip, I want to talk about using shortcuts in ProSelect, and that's where we can really zoom, get comfortable, and really make our sales sessions go extremely fast. Let's take a look at something, for example. I'm in our working with images mode, but we want to go to our thumbnail view. All we have to do is simply tap the T key, and that takes us to our thumbnail view. Tap the T key once again, we're back to our working with images. The L key is also a toggle. When I hit the L, L takes me to layout. Want to go back to our working with images? All we have to do is simply tap the L key again, and it takes, right, takes us right back to working with images. Well, cropping's a snap too. By hitting the C key, I can go right into a crop mode. Again, tapping that C key toggles me back to my standard working with images mode. Let's go back to cropping by tapping the C, and all I have to do is use the up and down arrows, and I can now crop an image, and it'll hold that format for me. I can also use the plus and minus keys. We'll do the exact same thing. Want to go back to working with images? Once again, all I have to do is tap the C key, and it takes me back to working with images. Now, don't worry about writing everything down as I'm talking because I know we're going really fast here. I'm going to show you how to be able to get all these shortcuts in just a couple moments. There's times when we want to go through and actually hide our display area and our tools. We can do that by simply touching the tab key. I touch the tab key again and our tools and image list return. Well, sometimes we want to go through and we want to show multiple images on the screen. So what we can do is let's go here and we'll find a selection of images. I've got a couple images here. I've just selected them. I held, uh, selected the first image, held my shift key or my controller command key, selected the next one. That selected both of my images for me. I want to add these images out into the display area to compare them. All I have to do is I tap the V key. The V key now allows me to be able to take and bring up those images. If I want to add another image to that display area, all I have to do is select the image that I want to add, click the A key, and that adds that image. We can move down to the next image, and again, I can tap the A key, and it adds that image to my particular display area. If I do a Control or Command A, I can select all of my images at one time. If I want to add those images to the shopping cart, we can simply have them all selected, and I can add all those images to the shopping cart all at one time. ProSelect has a ton of other shortcuts to make your life easier and really make things work faster for you. If I want to go to a black and white, all I do is tap the B button, takes me to a black and white. S will change that image back to, to a sepia tone, or I can hit the O, and that'll take it right back to my original image. Well, how do you know about all these shortcuts? Where do you learn them? What do we do? Well, it's simple. All we have to do is we're going to go up to Help and click Open Reference Manual. This is the best kept secret in ProSelect because user manual here is absolutely fantastic. Well, I happen to know that all my shortcuts are listed to the back, so I'm going to go to the contents page three, and if you look here, it says keyboard shortcuts. All I need to do is simply just click on the page number, it, the PDF file, it takes me right to the page, and all I have to do is simply print out those pages. I've got two pages of shortcuts to be able to help me work faster and more efficiently in ProSelect. When I'm working efficiently, I'm concentrating on my clients. I don't have to think about it. I can work faster. I can sell more. For ProSelect Quick Tips, I'm Ron Nichols. Thanks for joining me today.